Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back everybody. I'm Dan. And Alice. And you're watching Plant Abundance on YouTube. So here we are, the end of December, and we're coming to you out in the garden today on this beautiful day, because we're gonna be doing a bit of pruning here on this fig tree. And while I'm taking my prunings from the tree, I'm gonna also be using some of those prunings as cuttings. And I wanna show you a really quick and easy way to get those cuttings started. Now the best time to prune your figs is gonna be when they're dormant. So it's lost all its leaves. And you can see here right at the tip of these branches, we've got a little new growth there. It's like a yellow greenish tip on every one of these tips. This is the perfect time to take your cuttings. So I've already got quite a few different videos showing you guys how I go about pruning my fig trees and even taking cuttings and propagating. But uh, this tree here behind me is the Peter's Honey Fig, one of my all time favorite fruit trees to grow. High production, delicious, sweet, large figs. And what I'm gonna go over again today is just my technique when it comes to pruning these trees. So what I really wanna do is I wanna manage the height of the tree and also create more of a spread so that it's not growing too densely in the middle because we want good airflow and for sunlight to be able to penetrate into the tree. We're gonna get a better fruit set that way. So what I like to do is just raise my hand up and anything above that can come off because we're gonna get another couple feet of growth from this point the following season. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of clean out the density here. We've got some branches that are crossing. So I'm just gonna pull this one out. And this one over here, I'm just gonna take some of this branch off. I'm gonna cut right at the crook here. This one here, I'm just gonna take some of the height I always make my cuts at an angle as well. Last year, this tree got just a little bit too tall for easy picking, wouldn't you say, sweetie? Yes, it's tall. It's okay for you, you can climb up in here because you're lightweight, but for me, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. It's easy for me to climb, but you cannot climb. Now, as I'm pruning the tree, I'm paying attention to the nodes on the branches. You can see where the previous year's leaves have fallen off. Right in there is gonna be a new node where a new branch can start. So if I'm gonna cut some of this off, a good place would be right above this branch, which is pointing outward. Okay, so that's one technique. On this branch, you can see there is no side branching coming off, so I need to pay attention to those nodes. And I'm gonna cut right above this node since it's pointing outward. And that way this new growth that comes out is gonna come out this way instead of into the center of the tree. It's really important. And in just a couple seconds, you can see we've got a lot of different fig cuttings here. So I can take something like this and turn it into three or four cuttings. Generally, I wanna keep about five or six nodes. I aim for about six inches and I'll just cut diagonally above a node. And that's a perfect cutting. And what I'm gonna do is literally bury this sideways like that, just leaving the tip up. I'm gonna go through here again. That. Doesn't get much easier than this. It's funny, one year, I took a bunch of the branches of the fig tree and added it to the top of my hugel culture and ended up having a couple new fig trees sprout. So I'm just gonna cluster this batch of cuttings together. I'm not too worried if they're running into each other. Now most other cuttings, when I stick them in, they'll just go straight up like that. And you can also do that with the figs as well. This just offers more moisture to the cuttings, which can dry out. So there's another step after we bury these in the sand to ensure that we get the best success. And what I'll end up doing later, and if you wanna see the end result of this little project, then you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs for us. Be sure to appreciate it. We love hearing from you in the comments as well. 
we've really missed you guys over the last couple months. We hope you're all doing really well and making it through these challenging times. One great way to pass the time is in the garden. Many positive things can come out of going out to the garden and doing some planting. I miss them too. And they miss you, sweetie. A lot of comments. Yes, I in. miss them too. <laughs> all right. So we've got all our fig cuttings here. So we're over here at the hidden hugel culture bed, and you can see I've got several more bags of sand ready to go so I can take even more cuttings. And look at the beautiful greens. They really take off here in the winter time. We've been getting some rain and some cool weather. So I've got plenty of cuttings. I want to be taking off some of these plants as well. All right, so I'm going to wet this down. And I do have one drainage hole at the bottom. What I did, this is just a little dollar store oil pan. You can use anything. I've got all sorts of different containers that I use. But I took a soldering iron and poked a single hole for drainage and just put a little piece of screen at the bottom of the container before I put the sand in. And that's enough to let the excess water drain out. Now, the final step is gonna to be to put a little dome over this, something to help to keep the humidity in, but not to the point where it's so moist that it creates mold or mildew. So this is just some plastic that came in a, a package that I had received. So I'm just gonna reuse this. And another good reason that I like to put this stuff flat rather than stick them up is then I don't have to prop this up in any way. I can just cover it. You have to leave it over there. Yeah. And I'm just going to poke a couple holes in here. Just for a little airflow. And we'll check on it from time to time. In a couple months, we're going to have some good roots and some new leaves developing on these cuttings. So again, stay tuned for that. Well, that's going to do it for now. Just a quick check-in video. We just wanted to say hello. Wish you all a Merry Christmas and wish you all a happy and healthy, safe New Year. Until next time, this is Dan and Alice from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. We'll be talking to you again soon.